to Psy Storm drop. There's a lot of places to hide pylons for warp ins. So yeah, Lucifron, I mean, he's he's gonna have to at least get some damage in earlier or his seed will just become too strong. You know, and uh, you know, Seed going into this, he won uh, the, the, the previous GSL, but he's uh, he's eager to prove himself here mm -hmm. today. And guys, let me tell you something, the Koreans got a lot of pride about yeah. this. Koreans are the best at StarCraft. If they lose today, it's gonna be insane. It does look like the map is now loading. So let's go crazy and show the people at home how much fun we're having here at Gong TV. Again, the map is Cloud Kingdom. Fittingly, it's got a big S in the middle for our GSL code S. And uh, let's intro these players in the bottom left from Spain. Let's give it up for this player. He is... Kerrant 3 Lucifron. Yeah. And in the upper right, Representing the Korean scene, one of the smartest players, hands down, in the world. His ideas? LG, I am Steve. All right, Tasteless. It's time to see what these guys want to do against each other. Will we see something crazy, you know, in a best of one? Sometimes something crazy is the best thing. Absolutely. You know, um. Going into this um, with, with Seed, I remember, and maybe some of you guys have been watching GSL for a while remember as well, um, Seed, do uh, you guys remember the, the Hallucinated Immortal? Does anybody remember that? He does. Okay, this guy in the front does. It was guy, a long time ago. It was it's a long okay, time ago. You, you too, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was BC in StarCraft two years. Yeah. Um, no, but he, this guy actually used a Hallucinated Immortal to fake pressure while expanding, and this was like, what, it was like three months? It into was, StarCraft 2? It was right? forever ago. Yeah. Like, and that's like so crazy meta shit stuff. we don't even Tasteless see anymore. fell in love. Yeah. I saw him. It was like it was Cupid's insane. arrow hit him yeah. at that moment. It was insane. I, I fell in love immediately. I love players that play like that. Uh, you know, with uh, you know, him now, he's, he's still super calculated, but he's mastered the metagame. Yes, indeed. And uh, we'll have to see, man. He's going to want to really show his skills here today. He's had a hard time in GSL since his championship falling out. So, I mean, if, if Seed falls here as well, that is not a happy place for him to be in professionally. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, remember, we're going to go to all five games. But even if one of the Koreans loses here, uh, you know, the, the pride is, is on the line here. The Koreans, honestly, and I'm, I'm, I'm not even trying to just overhype this, guys. They absolutely uh, do not want to lose to non-Koreans. They, they believe they're the best. They want to prove they're the best. And um, we're going to see what he's got to offer today. Uh, on Cloud Kingdom Artosis, what do you predict Seed going to be doing here? Well, you know, the, the best way to normally play this map is to actually just get into the late game. If you can yeah. get up to actually three bases, hold it still, get into Psystorm and Colossus and take that fourth base, you're in a good spot against Terran because, as mentioned before, it's a great map for late game Protoss harassment. The Psystorm drops are amazing. The Warpins are so good. You've got all these high ground areas to fight against Terran. Uh, we see normally when this map goes long, it goes to Protoss. So I feel like Seed should be playing for that longer game. Whereas, I gotta say, I already really like the route that we see Lucifron going on. The fast expansion, and he's not throwing down another command center too quickly. He is just throwing down his standard three racks, and we should see him go into Medivac pretty quickly here. All right, and as you can see now, uh, Stim is just now being researched. Uh, again, both builds here, very standard. If you guys want to learn about StarCraft uh, II and copy these builds, these are, these are builds to use. Um, and right now, nobody taking any risks. It does make sense 
It's the first game, mm -hmm. um, you know, out of the five games we're going to play. It's going to set the tempo. Uh, you know, morale does play in here. Let's say a Korean loses first game. That's not going to be good, uh, you know, for the Greens going into this. Yeah. Uh, and with C, do you think we're going to see a Colossus tech here, or is he just going to get the observers out? That's been more popular nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, just getting observers going to Templar tech. You know, it's really hard to say. Both still are very popular. Neither one has truly taken over the metagame completely. So. I'm not really sure what Seed wants to do as far as tech here. Sometimes you see them open uh, Colossus into Psystorm. Sometimes you see Psystorm and Charge Lots into Colossus. And sometimes you see just a single Colossus to try to trick them out while you go for the Psystorm. I think the best out of those, in, in my opinion, is the, the single Colossus mm. um, into tech switching because we do see fairly often when people do that, the uh, it, it almost defaults the Terran player into continuing to make Vikings, yeah. which are then not useless. The Colossus is like a, a um, it's like a tech battery. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. They, they, this, they'll see one Colossus, they'll keep making Vikings, stop making medevacs, and then they got like 14 Vikings. It kills a Colossus immediately. Vikings not so strong in, in an all-out brawl on the ground. Yeah. Well, he's throwing up uh, his Colossus tech right now. So We'll see if he actually wants to make more than one. I think this is going to be one of those single Colossus games. You know, if you go for the three Colossus into Psystorm tech, there's sometimes a little timing that Terran can have that's a little bit hard to stop that has a ton of Vikings off two starports. So I wouldn't be surprised if he goes into Twilight after his first Colossus. Right? Oh! <laughs> I was about to say, I, was, I wonder if he's actually going to scan and spot that. Uh, and he did just that. Now, you know, when you lose the Observer, even though it's it's... Okay, it costs some gas, but it's a fairly cheap unit. The problem is when you lose that Observer, if you really look at Protoss, the um, units that come out of the Robotics Bay are so important. Uh, is it an Immortal? Is it a Warp Prism? Is it a, you know, another mm -hmm. Observer? Is it a Colossus? That when you lose that Observer, because of the role that it has in the game, well, do you remake the Observer? Yeah, do you, you, are you going to halt Colossus production? And the thing is, the most important thing is to actually see where the Terran army is. The observers are so important. Everything that comes out of that robo, as you said, Tace, is so, so important. And by the way, that robo, he's not going to be able to replace observers very easily. He's getting that Colossus range right away. So he's going to go for at least two or three Colossus here. And that means that he's just going to be chrono boosting nonstop on that. And it's going to be hard to squeeze out anything else. OK, so we got that one Colossus out now. Uh, and uh, another one is on the way. Now, okay, this is a little bit dicey if Lucifron decides to attack into the base. Because, yeah, can you, okay, well, he's, he's gonna answer it for me before I could say anything. Well, he is gonna hard. drop in here, or not, okay. Uh, if, if you do drop in there like that, most Protoss players treat the game now like that's gonna be a, a gift wrapped present. Yeah. Because they're gonna have the stalkers in position, they're just gonna shoot it down. Oh, but he's gonna scan, and he sees there's no stalkers. Oh, sick force fields. Yeah, really nice force Whoa. fields there. Right now, Lucifron is trying to put on some pressure, but he's realized that it's not likely to work. So he started that command center as well at his oh, third base. Oh, but he baited out the uh, the stalkers to the Ooh. low ground. Seed does not have vision. Well, Seed still has a lot of units because he did get his five gates very quickly. Okay, he's gonna quickly. have to pick up here. And yeah, this is not going to end up working out. He does have those two Colossi, but Lucifron hitting the front right now. And nice Forest Fields going out. Lucifron being a little bit too aggressive right now. You know, I, I feel like this is not a necessary moment to attack. No, it's... You know what this works on? This works in the ladder. High Masters, you know, technique like yeah, this. Yeah. You're not going to beat somebody like Seed. Well, uh, he, he, can, he can manage two bases. You know, maybe if he went for just the one Colossus into the Twilight tech, maybe then you can get something done. But you're right, Tasteless. This, when Protoss is turtling on two bases with Colossus tech, you are not breaking them with Marines and Medivacs. And now we got Seed countering. Forced cancel. Really bad here yeah. for the Terran. Huge moment right there. Uh, and he will continue to pressure at least a little bit since there's no Vikings out yet or just, just a couple. Just, just two out now. Yeah, you know, you can still poke a little bit with that, you know, force him to be defensive, force him to stay in their main base. But you know, Seed's already gained a pretty big lead here, to be honest. You know, I, I feel like uh, I thought Seed was going to be aggressive, but then I noticed there's no pylon uh, placed super close here uh, to Lucifron's base. So he's just going to expand again. And that's smart. I mean, the guy cancels his command center. Okay, you know for fact there's some 
time limit on when he gets his third base now. So yeah. just expand yourself. Exactly. And he's adding more gates as well, getting charged, going for the Templar Archives. He's getting everything that he needs. And all Seed has to do right now is fall back and be defensive and get that side storm out ASAP. Because as we see, Lucifron has that second starport. He's going to have a lot of medevacs and a lot of Vikings to try to break through this army. Okay, so it looks like Lucifron, he's going to go on the offensive again. Now, this is crucial here. Uh, if he does attack, occasionally we see players push out, but that's more to generate the, the, the image of, of, of aggression. He, he, he needs to, if he does attack, do a lot of damage because he's already in a deficit. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if he can get that done. He is making a lot of Vikings right now, so he will slaughter off those Glossi. But, you know, we do have Archons popping out. No size storm yet, just kind of focusing on upgrades and just macroing units at sea. But he does have that big 20 supply lead from earlier. Seed is tacking, I think, perfectly here. He's got the Temple Archives up, uh, the, the, the leg upgrade, the speed upgrade, I should say, uh, for uh, Seed is almost done. He's got his army in a great position. And, oh, are we gonna see an engagement here? Oh, he's just trying to pick off those Colossi before he actually does engage. Still pushing forward a little bit here, and he gets one before any real engagement. Good move here by Lucifron, and Seed actually might be in trouble. These force fields not doing well for his Zealots. You know, Lucifer, excuse me, continuing to push in here, takes out that Colossus. Uh, now, there's a good number of Medivacs, completely useless force field there. Uh, Zealots coming in here now, but you know what? Seed's ground army, just too strong. I think the engagement there for Lucifer was, was well done, but yeah. he was like mathematically behind, so it didn't, it didn't pay off. Yeah, you know, it, at least he got the Colossi, there's no Psy Storm, and if he continues to rally out a lot and switches back into Medivacs, He's going to be able to put on a ton of pressure. We do have more Archons on the way and another Colossus as well. So Seed's going for this Stormless, like really heavy charge lot Archon Colossus style that we've seen lately, which it's good. But if you have a lot of Medivacs and good Micro like Lucifron has, you can fight against it. All right, he's pushing in now, stimming and running away. The Zealots are coming up. Now remember, the Zealots are there to sponge up the damage, landing the Vikings. Bad move as one more Colossus comes out here. Um, in fact, that was, to be frank, fairly poorly done. Oh! Sick! Steve dancing his Zealots, realizing that he is gaining a bigger and bigger lead. And, you well, know, you, 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 you look at that last engagement. Why in the hell would you run away with stim units and then land the Vikings at the same time? Yeah, you I, know? I mean, it's, I mean, if your opponent see, goes back in a Colossus, that's going to make it really hard for you to replace those. Yeah, and, I mean, C looked at that and thought, okay, I'll take that. And yeah. actually added a taunt in here. Well. When Lucifron actually realizes that he's gone back into Colossus Tech, he will be like, oh, I wish I still had those Vikings. So this is still going to be an uphill battle for Lucifron. But, you know, he does have that third base up, and he still is pretty mobile with his army. And, you know, remember, guys, just like I mentioned with the Robo Tech, what you're making out of that really matters. If you lose certain Robo units, it, it, it can screw up the game. Uh, in, in this case, uh, losing a bunch of Vikings means no more Medivacs. Yeah. Or, I mean, you know, you, you have to either keep making Vikings or... We'll keep making medevacs exactly. one of the two. It's, it's a delicate balance. Zealots now hitting those SCBs and then retreating. Meanwhile, Seed moving Ooh. up here. And I don't know if this army's strong yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. He okay. doesn't have a lot of splash here, but that allows him to get his Zealots back into this third base. Nice moves by Seed. Now, the Seed is not trying to end the game. He's trying to get a fourth base while keeping Terran occupied. And look at this. He is going to push up this ramp for Archons to tank, but that's a nice concave there for Lucifron. So Seed does back up for now. And Seed is just going for it, man. Look at this. The multi prong harassment is absolutely crazy. All right, he's gearing up now. Okay, smart move. Definitely wanted to pull out there. In fact, uh, your cautionary force fields thrown down here. Yeah, these are really good moves by Seed. I especially like how he leads with the Archon, so concussive shells aren't going to pick off any units. He can just walk right. up and down that ramp and try to lure things away so his Zealot harassment can still work. Okay, so the fourth base is secured. These Zealots are expendable, but these SCVs are not. Uh, and he is uh, now going to lose them. Yeah, they and will finally oh go Oh, my down. God. Oh. Seed throwing down Guys, three next. those are not to make more probes. <laughs> Maybe not he wants Chrono a lot boost of Chrono Boost. <laughs> if you could, like, Chrono Boost pylons or something, yeah. I don't know. But, okay, so... Right now, between Korean and non-Korean team, Trash Talk already going down. Yeah, this He's is... already made, what, the Zealot stance. Well, Lucifer's going to see burnt. this and be like, am I really this far behind? Right, right. Okay, so this is actually a painful moment because I don't even know if he's going to cancel these. We'll see. Already cancels them. 
Could have made it worse if he didn't, but yeah. um, right now, Lucia Fine is having to deal with the fact that representing the international team, already behind EMP on the Archons, and, and I don't oh. know if this engagement favor seen here. Insane side storms going down. The Colossi still up there, and GG. GG. Insta tap out. Um, wow. Okay. Well, Seed definitely uh, coming out there with cleaner play. He, yeah, Absolutely. you know, I feel like Lucifron really just made one big mistake there, and that was over committing against a turtling two base Colossus tech. Yeah, I, I got to agree with you. I think the start of that game, um, when he when he tried to do damage off of a player with two base, I thought, I, I don't. I don't know about this. You normally can't do that, especially yeah. against a Codes quality player, right. well, not champion. Even, not even, yeah, I was going to say, not even just a Codes player, a Codes champion. No. Guys, give it up for Seed. All right, well, Luc Lucifron, uh, you know, he did a good job. He showed a lot of skill there after losing that initial group of units. You really don't want to lose a group of units early on, or Protoss suddenly feels invincible. And, you know, when he attacked with the Vikings into that third base against the heavy Colossus use of Seed, he actually almost got something done there. And imagine if he hadn't lost all those units early on. Maybe he has enough to actually break through. I felt the emotional tempo of that game. Mm -hmm. Failed uh, attack on two bases. And then we saw... Uh, he stims and runs away, but he lands Vikings. Yeah. Big mistake there. Uh, and I think from there, Seed had the confidence. He did indeed. He felt very far ahead with the dancing of the Zealots, the putting down Nessus. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can see maybe, you know, the next match is going to be Scarlet versus Dierji. Maybe, uh, maybe Scarlet can get ahead and throw down. What do you manner in ZBZ? I mean, do you dance your Zerglings? Do you, you, know, it's funny do you put a hatchery in their base? It's funny because some mat. What? What? You go. bring drones and you make infestation pits in their in their creek. Oh, that's that's good. how you okay. do it. Okay. All right. Yeah. I was about to say no. There's no way to trash talk in, in, in ZBZ, but you could do that. Turn all your or you know, you know, yeah. Sears? Yeah, you beat me to it. No, I was about no, to I, say I, that. I Upgrade speed and then morph them in their base. Yeah. Um, well, we'll see. But again, a lot uh, is on the line here. All right, that first game. Is about as one-sided as a Mobius strip, guys. It was it was pretty brutal, um, and <laughs> some laughs. Thanks, guys. Um, no, but it, seriously, it, it was it was brutal, and well, honestly, I don't know um, how the other players are going to fare. But you go into a game like that, and the guy's beating you so bad, he's making nexuses uh, in places where you don't make nexuses. Not good. It was a wall, and what do you? What do you it was a wall. Uh, okay, so Scarlet versus DRG. What do you think, Tasteless? Because Scarlet's really good CBZ, but she, DRG is. is too. 